positive. Hey, I hope it's more than his nose that grows, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not, maybe the twist in this movie is that it's not his nose. Maybe, that, maybe the twist is that nothing grows for him, and that's the real problem. <laughs> that's <laughs> What? I don't believe your name will be Pinocchio. You're putting... Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. You are too special, Pinocchio. The world is full of people who could harm you. The time is still our last two shows. What are they doing to Pinocchio? <laughs> There's like nobody's. Like it's like no, a those big... are those are some serious C grade stars. At Lionsgate <laughs> and Pauly Shore. Who <laughs> <laughs> you know from the 2000 movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, go ahead. Alright, so first off, the one thing that I noticed right away is Pinocchio's voice. When can I go home? Right. Which it's... is Pauly Shore to a T. You have you ever seen anything with Pauly Shore? No, but you I don't recognize his name. Oh my god. And now gosh. I Oh my gosh, sorry, go ahead. That's but a whole different thing. It's a very, oh my gosh, Paul like, Shore. It's a twist. So if you want to tell me what you think the twist is on this movie, then there you go. Be my guest. I, <laughs> uh, so many questions. All right, so we're doing the guess the plot thing. So, yeah, so what do you think? The I'm guessing about? I have to just take the original plot of Pinocchio and throw it out the fucking window. <laughs> I feel like this is not the same movie. I don't know. Is I'm wondering if Pinocchio just fell into public domain so anyone can use it for movies. They had a script sitting off in the side that was just a Frozen knockoff, and they're like, hey, we can put Pinocchio on that and sell it. Pretty sure that's what happened. It has all the Frozen stuff, does it? It has the horse, like the talking horse. It has, the, there's the love interest princess. There was no princess in Pinocchio. Sorry, I'm so off track. There's, there's a lot of things that are. So we just did the video for Toy Story, and I relived a lot of my childhood memories and got tossed back. And Pinocchio it was that type of movie for me as well. Grew up loving, watching Pinocchio all the time. Amazing movie, amazing artwork for a movie that came out in the 50s, 60s, 40s, 30s, whenever the hell it came out. This is hot garbage. This has nothing to do with Pinocchio. His no I didn't see his nose moving an inch. Go up to the water, I expect the whale to show up. No, I'm just gonna throw some flowers. Me, me. So, there's a princess, we have a talking, uh, we have a talking bird, which is clearly not indigenous to wherever the hell Pinocchio is from. That's a <laughs> tropical bird. That is not a tropical region they're in. <laughs> That's just wrong. But because it's talking, we're all just gonna forgive it. I, were there even talking animals in the first Pinocchio at all? No. I didn't think so. Like, I didn't, <laughs> like, did they, 
You got, a, you got a fox. It's like they literally just merged like Frozen, Zootopia, and like whatever other flavor of the month uh, animated movies there were. Put it in a melting pot, put Pinocchio's name on it, and pumped it out on a DVD. That's what it seems like to me. So what do you think the movie's actually about? <laughs> He's a, an animated wooden boy. He ends up in a circus, and when he's in the circus, which I guess Pinocchio's a trapeze artist now, which I imagine actually would be good because he's wood, he's very light, he can fly through the air, so that actually would work. And if he fell, what's the worst case scenario? It's just, you know, he just plops on the ground. Yeah. He's just wood. So it's actually not a bad job for a wooden boy to be a trapeze artist, just for any of you wooden boys out there. Think about it as a career path. So. <laughs> So, so he's a trapeze, so naturally, Pinocchio is a wooden trapeze artist in a, <laughs> in a traveling circus. They end up performing at some big knight ceremony or princess ceremony. Maybe it's the princess's birthday or something. And he falls in love with her on first sight, as one is to do. And obviously, she's gonna reject him and no one thinks that they're gonna be together because he's a lowly wooden circus performer. <laughs> she's a living, real human princess. So I think everyone's, I think people are pretty rational about it, but he's pissed and he's like no that's not fair i should be able to bang that princess and then oh, oh yeah then hey, his body hey i hope it's more than his nose that grows if you get what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's not maybe the twist in this movie is that it's not his nose Dude, that, maybe the twist is that nothing grows for him and that's the real problem <laughs> <laughs> I right now, this function. That's what the movie's about. I think I think those suggestions we just put out there are better than whatever the hell is actually in the movie. <laughs> I would much rather watch a movie about Pinocchio <laughs> having ED than a real Pinocchio. <laughs> than a Pinocchio, a true story. It's not true. It's a fable. It's a fable. That's not real. Maybe this one's true. It, yeah. Going back to the plot, Pinocchio's in love with this princess. Yeah, obviously wants to get with her for totally holistic G-rated reasons. And, <laughs> and he has to overcome the adversity of not being accepted. And maybe, maybe, what would be a good twist? He becomes a real boy, but when he becomes a real boy, it turns out he realizes that's not what he wanted all along. He wanted the wrong thing, and he should have loved himself for who he was in the beginning. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> you got everything on the nose. Did you Pun. watch this? Pun. Dude, I couldn't. You? I couldn't. <laughs> assumed you didn't. I'm, I'm really proud of you that you watched any of that. Holy shit. I couldn't. I did research on it. Right. That's, this, this is a movie as you read the I Wikipedia learned. for. Yeah. 100%. So, you got everything on the nose. He's in love with the princess named Bella. Bella. And, oh, creative uh, princess name, Bella. Yeah. You know, that whole dilemma of, oh, he's a wooden boy, and oh, she's a pretty princess, whatever. And How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But there's one major detail you left out. The circus itself run to like pay off like crimes or something like that. Like okay. it's like robbery. Oh, that. so it's money laundering. That's what yeah. you're looking for. It's, it's a money laundering scheme. Got it's it. a money laundering Got scheme. It. Yeah, to take dirty okay. money, so, run it through the circus, make it clean money. Yeah, but first off, this is in a Pinocchio movie. Yeah, it's a little Don't bit of a high concept. That. Don't forget that. <laughs> a little bit of a high concept for, for Pinocchio watchers. <laughs> I have to toss this out there. That trailer is three and a half million views over the last four months. That's bullshit. Pinocchio has to stop it along with this whole love dilemma. And the main antagonist is like the circus owner right. who is also, he's the one who's dissing Pinocchio about the princess and he's also the one that's running this whole thing. Gotcha. And I'm assuming, cause this movie is flattest thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah? The direction it goes is where he somehow stops or- Spoiler alert in case you wanna go watch this movie. I didn't even watch this movie. I'm giving a theory, but I'm, it should be a spoiler because I'm it's dead on. I don't know where else this movie could go. Right. But I feel like Pinocchio stops this circus head guy, like either kicks him out of town or something, and then he gets with the princess and the circus shuts down, and that's where your theory comes in of oh he's a real boy, he loves himself, whatever. Right. I right. feel like that's where that whole thing comes in. But again, I haven't seen it. So I don't know, but I don't know, like nothing else could really happen. Right. I don't know, it's, yeah. it seems predictable. No, I think that makes sense. Cause yeah, I mean, they're not gonna be pulling out all the creative stops with this movie. Like no. I said, I, I can almost guarantee this was some BS generic script that's sent off to the side that they found a way to incorporate the Pinocchio name in. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what reason. happened. I feel like that happens a lot with these types of crappy animated movies. <laughs> <laughs> so you're recommending it? 